Hi friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about scheduling a task flow job. So this is almost similar to the uh, scheduling a uh, job what we used to do in workflow manager in the power center. But it's slightly different approach uh, in IACS how we are going to implement it today. So for that reason, the following steps we are supposed to uh, do it uh, like it's like up to task flow what we normally used to do the same practice I, I mentioned it here like creating a mapping and uh, assigning that mapping to the mapping task and uh, assigning the mapping task to the task flow what we created and finally go to the uh, <coughs> home section from the uh, data integration service and take it to your corresponding project folder and from that project folder select your task flow in the right hand side select the three dots and you can find the schedule option and create a job so here today what happened mm, I, uh, so this is the task flow i already created and deleted few few runs i i managed to check it validate it so hourly run frequency <coughs> i managed to do it in some of the frequencies were suspended due, due to services were down but otherwise it ran successfully okay so so like um, the same uh, after after this occurrences i've deleted the job uh, uh, scheduled job as well so now i'll, I'll go back straight away i'm going to uh, create a schedule uh, for our easy understanding so this is the task flow i already created i'm going to select the task flow so if you go to three dots in the right hand side of the task flow you can find a schedule option okay so here you can give some custom data load job okay uh, and so probably we can create a new schedule instead okay uh, um, uh, uh, sorry uh, select the new schedule here um, uh, so here you can mention custom data daily uh, load hourly run or uh, every five minutes every two minutes for our testing purpose maybe okay it's not normal uh, normally it will not be like that so and and below option if you see this all of the shading option you can find it um, so now instead of this time I'm going to change it to EST time and and when you want to start this job so probably like now is 20th okay so now let me keep it to 1.30 a.m. maybe 1.28 a.m. maybe because that is a clock sounds to me Okay, now if, if you want to change the frequency, let me say every minute. So let me change it to oh minimum five minutes. So okay. So now if you want to select the job to run on a specific day between Monday to Friday like that, all day the same time range and repeat indefinitely instead of that I'm going to make it repeat until maybe one day. For my testing purpose okay so um, or maybe the same day I'm going to stop it by 145 okay so as in the schedule so now the job uh, uh, successfully got created now the next thing is you will find it like 130 it's supposed to start now the clock is 128 so now if you want to see the job is running or not you, you can go here and wait for the job to uh, kick off okay so this is the one approach we can see it and if you want <coughs> okay uh yes okay so this is this is how oh, it will be okay now <coughs> every five minutes we we turn the job uh, uh 
to run right so let's wait for uh, this to come up oh, let's see now we should see 130 or oh, exactly the job will kick off right oh, first iteration Yeah, so now the time is 130. We're supposed to see the first iteration. Uh, 130. See the 130 iteration, it started successfully. Okay, so this is the first iteration we are seeing it. So the next iteration will be every five minutes in frequency. Now the job is successfully completed. If you want to see the job subtask, see the 25 records have been loaded successfully. This 10 30 pm. <coughs> Is, is the PST time what you're saying but actually we set it to EST time of 130 correct like so now if you go back to the job again then now the next iteration will be uh, uh, 135 it will kick off but uh, in case if you want to remove the job from the queue so what all you need to do is go back home and select the project and go to my project okay and select the task flow okay uh, and select the three dots and click the schedule job here okay now you can find the custom uh, customer data load right so you can simply remove the job okay so it will it will ask you to confirm the job to remove it you can simply say yes, uh, yes that's it so it will be out of your queue okay this is uh, this is about uh, scheduling a uh, task flow and removing a task flow and uh, with your uh, specified frequency as similar to the uh, work center uh, through workflow manager what we had done in the past okay i think you like my video if you if you like my video please subscribe my channel thanks for your support